In book two, chapter nine of The Sun Also Rises, the next morning, Jake visits with Brett and Mike at a bar, and the couple apologizes for being so drunk the night before. And to say it would be fun to come with Jake and Bill on their trip to Pamplona. While Mike gets his hair cut, Jake accompanies Brett back to her hotel. On the way, she tells Jake she vacationed with Cohen in San Sebastian, mm. and she wonders whether he'll be accompanying them on the fishing trip to Spain. Jake is annoyed to hear about Brett's tryst, but tries to play it cool. Cone will be joining them on the fishing trip, but Brett admits Cone is pretty much head over heels in love with her, and it might be awkward. The group agrees to meet in San Sebastian and make their way to Pamplona from there, with no one waiting for each other. Bill and Jake take the first train, where they struggle to get seats in the dining car because the train is so full of Catholics on a pilgrimage. Jake and Bill chat with the other passengers, including an American family, but spend most of the time staring out the window, watching the beautiful country pass by. Cohen meets Jake and Bill at the station in Bayonne, where they will be staying for a short time. Bill intimidates Cohen because Bill has experienced such literary success. This chapter reveals the primary conflict between the men in the novel. Previously, they had all lusted after Brett, but none, aside from Mike, had obtained her. Brett's revelation that she slept with Cone ignites a sense of competition between Jake and Cone for her affection. This becomes exacerbated by romantic Cone's refusal to view their relationship as a meaningless dalliance, which Brett does. Thus, Cone further casts himself as an outsider within their group. Bill, Jake, and Brett, all veterans, don't believe anything, including human interaction, has value outside of the immediate transaction. Cone, not knowing Brett's true feelings for Jake, hopes to create a meaningful relationship with her. Rather than speak to Cone directly about his frustration, Jake takes small jabs at Cone's character, typically about his Jewishness. Like a boxer, Jake continues to jab and jab until Cone eventually swings back with big haymakers. And Brett seems to relish the male competition for her affection. Although she claims to love Jake and to speak honestly only with him, she lied to him about the intentions of her trip to San Sebastian and practically gloats about her affair with Cohn. Hemingway typically depicts his characters through their interactions with others rather than describing them explicitly. Hemingway hints Brett is less loving toward Jake than he believes. In Jake's mind, Brett is as tortured about their unconsummated love as he is, yet the reader sees she may not be as tortured as Jake thinks. 